Welcome to day number four of Vlogmas. So it is 5.13. I just woke up at 5. Guys, I tried so hard to stay awake and finish editing the video for the advent calendar so I could post it today. I could not stay awake. I legit fell asleep. And yes, it's 5.13. <laughs> But I was working on that like for hours. It literally takes me that long to edit. I'm so slow. But I haven't even started editing for the vlog for yesterday. Um, so <laughs> a lot to edit. I know these vlogs have a lot of my kids. I'm very sorry um, if you wanted more Harry Potter bookworm stuff. But I mean that's kind of, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. That is my life. Um, you know, I keep trying to do more booktube video related videos, but like with all of the boxes I get and the limited amount of time I have to film and edit, it is so hard to do more videos just because my kids take up so much of my time, as they should. I mean, honestly, as they should. But before I go get him, I'm going to go ahead and do my little advent calendar because... Last night, my little Flor de la Clor almost got stolen. Bella really wanted it. <laughs> so probably not a good idea to open in front of children. Tip for any parents, do not open it in front of kids. They will want your pops. <laughs> but day four. Oh, it is Victor Crumb in his outfit for the Yule Ball. Yay, I'm so excited. We got Flor de la Clore. Of course, we needed Victor Crumb. I really hope there's a Cedric in here. Like, I need all four champions. Uh, so, yeah. Yay. This will not be a very exciting vlog. I'm very sorry, guys. Um, I just really have got to finish editing. But, let me show you. Look what finally came today. Yay. Oh, my gosh. It's December 4th, and I finally have my fairy loot box. The hardest part of subscription boxes, guys, is the waiting. It is so hard sometimes to wait for boxes because you want them, like, now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for now. I will check in later. Four. Eight. Four. Where's number four? What's four? Uh, no. Only one. Oh man, but not not one. <gasps> Whoa! Sandra, do yours. Okay, I'm gonna pick number one. Where's number one? No. Yes, this one. No, Wait. no, number four. Um, there. Yeah. What's he want in it? You got Beauty and the Beast, Avengers. We're getting ice cream. Okay guys, we gotta start over here. Bella. It's kind of white. Pour some for Bella. Give Bella some. Bella, put your ice cream up there. Is it good? Y'all are being so good. The kids have been really good at daycare this week. No notes or anything. Because some days we get notes saying Bella or Xander have hit or bit or, you know. So we get ice cream. A big giant monster. <laughs> giant monster. Yeah.
<laughs> Multitasking, Bella. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5. Okay, so Day 4 kind of didn't really happen. I got the kids and this and that, but that was it. I kind of just fell asleep editing the advent calendars. And yeah, so I'm going to combine some days, probably 3, 4, and 5. But yeah, I'm kind of failing at Vlogmas. I'm very sorry, guys. But it is actually 6.39 at night. It's December 5th. And I just gave the kiddos a bath. Say hi, guys. So we're going to do our books. Bella's going to do hers first. Go to day 5. What is it? What is it? Whoa. Here, let her hold it. Show the people. It's Brave. Yeah, that you love that movie. Yay. Do you like it, Bella? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, Xander, it's your turn. Let's see what it is, Mom. Let's see what it is. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! There's two! Oh, there's two Spider-Man. Ooh, <laughs> get it out of your mouth. Ooh! So, then we have a special book. We have a special book. <laughs> Y'all, look at her hair. Bella, show them your hair. Like, look, look how long it is. Like, it goes, like, way down here, but it just bounces right back up. I love her hair. <laughs> I have always wanted curly hair. Oh, and Xander wants to show you his hair. Same thing. Not as bouncy. Still very curly, so pretty. Okay, good job, guys. Let's pick this up and put it in the trash, please. Thank you. Are you gonna do it with me? Huh? Where's number two? We're on day five. Where's five? Where's number five? This one. Right yeah, here. Open it. Okay, it's my turn. Okay. Open it. What's you put in it, Mom? Let's see what it is. <gasps> no way! It's Professor McGonagall! Oh, I think this might be my favorite one so far. No, these are mommies. Don't open them. Oh my gosh. She is so cute and stern at the same time. Like, the detail! I love her hat. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love Professor McGonagall. She is such an underrated character. Like, oh, I love her. I have to put McGonagall on my Have a Biscuit Potter candle because that is from Professor McGonagall. Heck yes, the perfect place for her. So Calvin's still not home, so we're just waiting on him. But yeah, guys, I am still listening to the Illuminate Files. I'm on the third book and Maybe it's just as because it's Jay Kristoff's writing. This book is so freaking good. Like, I didn't realize how much I could like zombies in space. Because, okay, well, I don't want to give spoilers away to the first book. And it's not necess oh, okay. And it's not necessarily zombies, but if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about for the first book. And then kind of, yeah, they see it, baby. I'll see. Who wants to see? Okay, yeah, ooh, Toy Story. The second one kind of has, like, not aliens, but, like, creatures. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, I, I thought the first book was so good. And then the second book started with a, de with a set of different characters. And, guys, normally books like that, that flip back and forth between characters like completely it is kind of hard for me to get into for me to want to read and invest in some more characters and then it's kind of the same with the third book it's like a whole new set of characters with the old characters like the old characters from the first book are in all three they add a lot of new characters and i kind of like it because like 
I really thought the love story in the first book could not be matched. I kind of think I like the second love story in the second book more. I don't know. Like, it's so good. Like, it's sci-fi with love interest and just... It's just so good. If you have not read The Illuminae Files, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it does get a little weird in some spots. Like, you really have to pay attention. In the second book, guys, if you have read The Illuminae Files, did you catch... Well, I don't want to... I don't want to give it away. God, that's why I really do not like doing book reviews. Because I don't know how to do book reviews without giving stuff away. Because, like, the key points is kind of... The spoilers, so there was a twist in the second book, and I it and, and it had something to do with the corsage. Did you guys pick up on that? Like, because I totally didn't, I was totally surprised. And when just <sighs> Ugh, it's so good, <laughs> but one book I am so excited for is The Queen of Nothing. I unfortunately was not able to get any of the boxes featuring that. I tried to get Alcrate. It was in the cart. I was checking out and it was sold out before I got to finish checking out. I was distraught. Distraught. Um, but I'm actually going to buddy read the Queen of Nothing with Noria Reads. She has her own YouTube channel and guys, she, I love her channel. She is just blunt AF like she tells it how she sees it like no bars hold nothing she is hilarious and she is another big Harry Potter fan she loves Nevernight you know actually I think her channel is the one that really made me kind of finally read Nevernight and thank god I did thank god I did I'm gonna do a video with the top five series that I think you have to read if you are going to get book box subscriptions or be on booktube so much merch from book box subscriptions is based on like some of the same series so like you have to read them to understand the, the items so I'm gonna make a video of my top like five or six I don't remember how many I wrote down yeah like you have to read them and Nevernight is one of them <laughs> I'm going to finish editing I Pray to God I get this up tonight. It might be early morning and then I'm going to start editing on this vlog. Um, but I'm going to try and vlog some more a little bit later after Calvin goes home. Um, again, I'm not really doing much. Like, these are so boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> So oh, guys, as you saw, Bella is asleep, so we just have this little guy, and look who just got home from work. Okay, Calvin, so on day two, day two's vlog, where you worked so hard, one of the comments was, what does he like, because that man deserves a gift. <laughs> well, well, that is an awesome comment, that is... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I need a gift. I need a gift. Yes, I do need a so gift. So I should give him a gift. I probably should because you were up to what? Two, three that night? Mm -hmm. Rearranging stuff, moving stuff to the garage. Mm -hmm. I mean, Team Lang, we mm -hmm. did that. Let me know what gift I should get him for helping me move stuff that late. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Leave a comment what gift you think Calvin deserves. I need to keep him up tonight because we have got to put the tree up. Heck no, not tonight. When then? Um, I guess I'm going to have to do it by the, myself this year on again. Night, on the night before Christmas. The night before Christmas we put the tree up. The Two or three years ago we were so behind. I think that was when we had Xander and I was pregnant with Bella. I think so. It was it was around that time. And so, like, literally the day before, he put the tree up. We did not have lights on it, no decorations. It was literally just the tree. <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you going to put the tree up? Put up half a tree. I'm not fooling with this. Half a tree? Put up half a tree, and then we'll, we'll no. go with that. We'll just no. Not put the I got in. way too many cute Harry Potter ornaments to not put a tree up this year.
<laughs> you gave me away, Xander. <laughs> you know that's my song, boo. <laughs> I love when he sings that. Now the vlog has heard you. <laughs> I knew if I played it just loud enough, your nosy butt was gonna come in here and see what's playing on the speakers. I'm so sad to see you go I mean, so soon. I love when you I sing that song. Oh, Xander okay. gave it away. I did it. I finally, finally finished editing Cauldron Crate and the Wizarding Trunk. Good lord. It's 1.24. And I still have to upload it and do my thumbnail. I think I need a drink. <laughs> like seriously, I need a drink after this. <laughs> wow. Good Lord. And it's so long. Like it's 40 minutes, I think, or like a little less. And I tried so hard to like make it as short as possible because I know people don't like long videos, but I did cut out a, as much as I could. Um, so yeah, ugh. I hope y'all like it. That's all I can say, but I hope y'all like it. <laughs> but I'm going to upload it now, which normally takes hours. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end day five here. This weekend is going to be very tricky because I pretty much work and sleep and that is it. So I don't know what really I will get to vlog. Um, I might have to combine some days again because it is just almost impossible to do one a day. But that is it for Vlogmas Day 5. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. A, what's it called? Oh, my arm. How do vloggers do this? Oh, my God, my arm. Ow, it hurts. Ugh. I need to start doing push-ups so I can hold the vlogging stick. Jesus, mother, Joseph. Oh, wrong way. No, come this way. Ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a cool cat? Yeah, are those mommy's glasses? Okay, work the hair, work the hair. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say it. I can abbreviate it. You said it. I didn't say it. Wow. There are young people who watch this vlog. Good job. Get him, Xander. Get him. I got the butt. <laughs> so, hi, guys. So, we're going to take a nap.